All right, everybody. And today we are going for the full supermarket tour here in Lahore. We will check out this store called Jalal Sons right near our Airbnb. And we'll see what we can find and what the prices are. So let's check it out. So pretty busy today. It's about 3 p.m. right now. I guess we got multiple floors. Downstairs here, as well as upstairs, and even upstairs again as well as what seems to be a pharmacy on the right. So lots of action and nice air conditioning in here. I will say that. Let me grab a basket. A basket, okay. And then we'll check some uh, some aisles here. So first thing I notice is there is tons of employees working here in the red shirt. There's like six or seven around us already. So I think if we have a question, we'll never be too far from the answer because many, many employees. Now, typically in a hot country like this, uh, not a lot of cheese and the prices are usually pretty high. So these two or three fridges here is the entire cheese section, I believe. Mostly sliced and or processed cheese. Not a lot of good quality fresh cheese, to be clear. Yeah. Now, just past the cheese section, we've got Nutella here and believe it or not, Biscoff spread. Uh, Biscoff is the crackers, no? Or the cookies that you get on airplanes quite often. Yeah. Biscoff spread, something new. Wow, something new, no? <laughs> Biscoff's red, okay, sounds good. Peanut uh, and almond butter, they got the chips. And so far, it's a pretty typical grocery store experience. You've got all these aisles with the fluorescent lights, signs up top telling you what's in each aisle. Pretty standard stuff, and I guess pretty busy for 3 p.m. during Ramadan. I know, you can uh, buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free Doritos. Don't mind if I do. And I wonder if there's any uniquely Pakistani flavors. Sweet chili pepper is something new I've never seen. And a lot of flaming Hot, which makes sense. They want spicy. Oh, Cool Ranch. Very American flavor. Cool Ranch, sweet, spicy chili. Pretty familiar. And no Lay's actually, which is interesting. Pretty small junk fruit section. Just Doritos and Pringles. Yeah, no Lay's. And the Pringles are all pretty familiar flavors. Okay. Oh, oh, and also lace. Yogurt and herb. This is like a Raita flavor, I guess. French cheese. That's sort of interesting. And of course, masala. This is, a, I'm assuming, is the top flavor. I guess this is the Pakistani version of a sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion, yes. Yogurt and herb. <laughs> something interesting new stronger Pepsi I don't know I've never seen this fizzier and tastier I wonder if it's more sweet and more carbonated huh, something new stronger Pepsi okay now I've never understood this if someone could explain this to me this is milk somehow on a hot day in Lahore it's like 35 or 40 degrees outside uh, it's not in the fridge <laughs> it is air conditioned in here, but I don't know how they have milk that's just not in the fridge. Anyway, 200 rupees for one liter. Also, they seem to always brag about Australian milk. In yeah. Pakistan, if it's good quality milk, you say Australian cow. Why is it Australian? That makes you know that's some good milk right there. <laughs> now, unfortunately, in Pakistan, they do not have a coffee culture. They definitely have a chai culture. This whole aisle here is all different types of tea for various uh, prices from relatively expensive to very cheap, but they do not have a coffee culture. So all you're gonna find here is instant coffee. They've got tons of different uh, versions of Nescafe. Everywhere you look, Nescafe, Nescafe, and this, which is not Nescafe, but still instant coffee. Yeah. And then you've got this, which is coffee beans, not yet ground. So Ivana and I always look for ground coffee. Yes. Cannot seem to find it in Pakistan. Like ground fresh coffee. Yeah, it's, it's either beans, small section of beans, and a huge section of instant coffee. Yeah, even the Starbucks is instant. Oh, look at that. Instant Starbucks. Something new. Instant Starbucks. And so I'm sort of surprised that this section is not bigger in the Pakistani grocery store. Just from here 
pizza here is the Pakistani food spices. It's about the same size as the one in Canada, but I think the reason is a lot of people here are making this powders themselves. They've got their own masala at home and they don't need to buy the pre-box one. So if they're making biryani, for example, I think they're pinching a bunch of different powders and making their own biryani mix because this section here, about the same size as the one in Canada overall. And so I guess this store is a bit like a Walmart or a bit like a superstore or something because this whole aisle is actually cleaning supplies. So not just food in this store. Oh, and here's Febreze. A thousand rupees for Febreze. But I think Ivana has gone downstairs to grab some chicken. So let's go to the basement. And so I guess the basement is arranged where all the frozen stuff is in these freezers, whether it's bread or chicken or burgers and then the fresh meat at this counter and even fresh veggies over here. So let's go see Ivana. I guess the chicken counter is quite busy now. Maybe she's gonna wait in line and see the price of some chicken breast. Now, one thing you'll notice is in Pakistan, they never have chicken skin. So they will sell whole chickens, they will sell drumsticks, they will sell wings and legs, but they seem to never have chicken skin. I don't know if this is a halal thing or if this is a cultural thing, but they seem to never have skin on the chicken. I don't think it's a halal thing because in Malaysia, they have yeah. chicken skin. So it's just cultural thing. Yeah. No chicken skin. Yeah. That was hard to order. <laughs> Especially when I don't speak Urdu. You made it happen, Ivana. Chicken breasts for 541. 541 rupees. Okay, actually, good price, actually. And then right beside the chicken and meat section, we've got the fresh veggie section where you'll grab the stuff yourself. They don't actually use plastic bags here. They use these sort of yellow nets, which potentially is very environmentally friendly as we care so much about in Canada. What this is, I have no idea. What is this? Not quite sure. And then once you fill your yellow net, you'll go over here and weigh your stuff and then they'll give a price tag for you. Two carrots and two onions. Fifty-five for a small cabbage. Cabbage. And just before we go upstairs, we have the oil section. Olive oil is not very common here, but they do have this product quite a lot, which is called can olive, which is like a canola and olive mix, canola and sunflower oil with olive extract. Uh, Twenty-two hundred rupees for three liters, and they tend to sell a lot of oil. I think this might be indicative of how much oil is in some of the food we eat, especially street food. Because they tend to have huge jugs of oil and mostly canola and or sunflower oil. I mean, this must be for a restaurant. That's like a 10 liter jug of oil. It's like gasoline for your car. It looks like it's in a gasoline jug, says Ivana. Sort of, sort of right. And something I've never seen before, a sign that says, Lady staff not allowed in the warehouse. Uh, something new, just beside the oil section but let's go upstairs and maybe we'll check the top floor see what's up there let's go oh look at that they sell fresh samosas uh, this is the thing we always see the chicken drumstick and some sort of biscuit and or pastry thing fried chicken uh, with almost like a KFC bucket Jalal and Sons bucket right inside the grocery store it's a good idea actually oh look at this too a fresh bakery I tell you what it smells good up here Wow, this is a full bakery. Lots of different assorted cookies, assorted sweet treats. I think this is gulab jamun, which is a uh, top, top dessert in Pakistan. Even some potentially pistachio desserts, baklava or something of that nature. And even an olive cart with assorted olives and hot peppers and other assorted pickled yum-yums up in this section so quite the grocery store pretty elaborate and up one more level seems to be like a toy section maybe we'll do a brief lap around here just to see what we can see and if you believe it there's actually one more level it looks like housewares the store keeps going and going and going as ivana finds what appears to be pakistani monopoly what you got there I thought I saw CM Tower. Yeah, CM Tower. <laughs> Monopoly. 
A thousand rupees. Okay, fair. <laughs> and I tell you what, not a bad birthday present for a little kid. 43,000 rupees for the motorcycle or 31,000 rupees for the, uh, what is that? Ford Mustang convertible. Not bad. And I guess Pakistani kids like cars because uh, Lamborghini, 9,000 rupees. Got some BMWs for 6,500 rupees. I wonder if they have a Suzuki Meren. Something tells me they don't sell the action figure of the Suzuki Meren, which everyone outside is driving. <laughs> and maybe just before we go, we'll check out the pharmacy on the left. We can buy some shampoo and check some prices of some common household bathroom items. Head and shoulders classic clean, but also head and shoulders silky black. And so funny that so far in our trip, every single Airbnb we've stayed at has had shampoo for us to use, which is very nice of them, but it's always been this black shine shampoo. And when you pop the top and look inside and you squirt it in your hand, it's like dark black shampoo and it makes your hair shine black. So clearly the most common hair color in Pakistan, black hair. <laughs> All right, let's go back in line and see what everything costs, total bill. I will say this, every single item in the store had a price on it, uh -huh. except for the bread. Right. For some reason, the bread had no price tag. I think right. it was from that bakery, so maybe it's in between batches ah, or something. Ah, that's right. But no need You're to haggle right. for prices because everything lined up. And I think they don't have plastic bags. They have like a felt bag at the front here. Uh -huh. And I believe they have a guy working here who puts the groceries in the bag for you. Right, right. So it's a full service grocery store. Good. And like I said, lots of employees. Oh, so yeah. let's see the final bill. Lots of employees, lots of employees. you're right. I just Everybody realized looked, that. Every aisle has two people. That's true. It's like unbelievable. <laughs> right, let's pay for our stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't use their white bags because we brought our own. Good job, Ivana. What was your final final bill there? 15. 1500 And we got a good size amount of groceries. And especially the chicken would be the most expensive one. True. Overall, good experience. And we're right back into the street which, believe it or not, is relatively quiet compared to what it could be. Because it's about 3.30 p.m. during Ramadan. I think it would be like 50% more crowded if it was not Ramadan. <laughs> Most people are fasting and so they maybe are not outside during the day. All the restaurants around here are closed and yet everybody else is out and still enjoying the 35 degree Lahore heat. So, there you have it everybody. Thanks for watching our video. Just a simple one today of the grocery store tour. I'm still recovering from my sickness. Yeah. The, the cold that will never end. We're gonna make some home cooking today. Thank goodness for that. All right, see you guys later.